Fabio hey. <laughs> We should just record those and leave them like in layers until it gets obnoxious, which it already did Hey everybody Hey guys, welcome back Welcome to another episode of Best of Five with your host, Chris Arias N.G. Arias, Arias. Sorry, I'm playing with my kitten. Jeez. Dude, that does taste like Skittles. It's weird. I don't like it. We tried a new energy drink, as per usual, and uh, yeah, our stomachs hurt already. Yeah, it's, it's great. Gluten free though? What was it? Vegan? Vegan friendly? Uh, I think it's a. Uh, hmm. I think it's uh, cage free. Yeah, that's right. Non GMO. Well, cheers. cheers. Here's our vegan friendly tequila. Salud. All right, dude. Wash down the Skittle taste. Good man. <laughs> good. Good to hear. Pretty excited about the Rockies, because by the time this comes out, they'll be doing well again. <laughs> they're going to be at even, even 500 watts. Yeah, they're going to probably suck. I don't know. We went to a Rockies game yesterday, and holy shit, there's way too many people from Chicago here. Yeah. Way too many. Yeah. Like? Like, we saw a grown adult start talking trash to, like, a 19-year-old kid. I like, yeah. It because was... the Cubs, like, they played bad, but the Rockies played worse, so that's why the Cubs won. Yeah, dude, it's like, super... they both suck, so I don't understand why he's talking so much shit. Yeah, and I, uh, so I don't want to be like that guy who's like, well, go back where they came from, because that's what like people tell us all the time. I'm going to stop playing with my but, cat. But fuck, man. Yeah, it was super obnoxious. They were but playing, cool. like, it, like, they were playing, like, Cubs songs and stuff like that. I'm just like, yo. Like... There was a cool Cubs fan in front of us that like, just kind of, like, chilled the whole time. And but, I guess Chris Bryant it. plays with them, so they're like, oh, we're going to go, you know, for him. Like, yeah, yeah. No, you're not. No, you're not. Shut yeah. up. Yeah. I hope you guys... Though. Don't win a World Series for the next 200 years now. Wow, that's a little rough. Yeah. Okay, okay, man. Sorry. Okay, okay. Should we start this? Sure, I guess <laughs> we should we now. we just went on a long-ass rant about... We, sh- we didn't do shit. From Chi-Town? We didn't do anything. Also, your pizza sucks. Moving on. Starting right now. Not moving on. Starting. Yeah. Round one. Thought it so. All, All right. right. All right, G, what All is right. the first topic that you have hey. chosen for us today? All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. How are we, are we starting in that way? Yeah, the first subject. Oh, okay. <laughs> first subject is haircuts. Oh, what a quinkadink. <laughs> I swear to God, that's what I'm saying. What a quinkadink. So let me start off by saying I haven't had a haircut since, I don't know, I think I had it for Dakota's wedding, so that was February. Yeah. That's just not that far, but it, it was pretty bad. Yeah, for you, that's a long fucking time. I... Like, when's your last haircut? That's actually that's a question we should be asking. Uh, probably like six years ago, maybe. I don't really cut my hair ever. God, he's so lucky. I mean, I don't know if that's luck. I mean, my hair looks like shit right now because it didn't get taken care of properly during yeah, the pandemic. But you don't care, and then you can like yeah, man bun it, right. and it's fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't really care that much. It's long enough you can man bun it, and you can make it look decent. Yeah, mine was. Yeah, it was bad. It was so bad. And, like, yeah, it depends on the weather, too, because then if it's, like, a little too humid outside, then my hair is super poofy. Dude, it's so skittily. Yeah. Oh, that? I thought yeah. you were talking about my hair. I was that, like, too. Thank no. you. Taste the rainbow. Yeah. Get me ready for the sweetness. Ooh. Ooh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. a deep cut, deep reference. Now, I personally don't like haircuts. So, when I was younger, um, my mom <laughs> used to take me to, like, super cuts or, like, cost cuss cutters or whatever. Uh-huh. And I remember, I this is I don't know what like you know how you like like you remember like really vivid like small things about your childhood and you're like that's why yeah yeah I mean why do you it's just I guess it's just all trauma but um, <laughs> deep seated yeah deep seated trauma so <laughs> um, I like the lady was like apparently like, pushing like put, pulling my hair like head everywhere like aggressively and my uh-huh. mom got super pissed like you're never going to a barber anymore like I'm just gonna cut your hair at home so from like eight until like eighteen my mom cut my hair. Because yeah. I just, like, didn't know, you know? Yeah. And it was always, like, <laughs> it was always, like, the top is, like, cut, like, just, like, one like one size, and the side is cut one size, no fade. Yeah, yeah. So it yeah. was, like, a bowl cut, but, like, worse. Yeah, I have a, a very, very close person that I know whose mom cuts his hair still. Is she, like, And a... it looks terrible. No, she's, oh. no, no. She's not good at it at all. It's like, oh, I'm kind of artistic. I could figure this out. Like, no, you can't figure that out. It's like someone trying to like start tattooing, and you're like a woodworker. Yeah. Do I remember, like, my dad used to cut my hair, and one time, I don't even remember what he was doing, but, like, I was just chilling, like, playing in my room, having a great time with all my G.I. Joes and Transformers or whatever, and then they just, like, literally, like, like, hey, you need to come in the kitchen. I'm like, why? I'm like, you just do. So I came in the kitchen, sat down, 
in like this chair in the middle of the thing. I'm like, what? And they're like, you're getting your haircut today. I'm like, but I don't want to. I'm in the middle of doing something. They're like, no, you're doing it. And I'm like, no. And I started like struggling, but then he tried to cut my hair anyway and fucking cut the tip of my ear off. Damn, dog. <laughs> yeah. Tell, I mean, me how, tell me how you really feel. That's yeah, why. That's why it wasn't, you hate it wasn't out. really a tip, but he definitely snipped it through the. He didn't cut like a chunk out. He cut it like just. I kind of want to see what Chris sounds like crying now. Oh, I wasn't crying. I was screaming. <laughs> I think I was like I don't know, like eight maybe. And ever since then, you just don't get eight to ten. Out. Well, no, it's not that. Ever since then, I never let anybody cut my hair like that that's not in a professional i've never spoken to my father since (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's not like a professional hair cutter place yeah man it's weird like i i wonder i don't know i think i think our generation got so traumatized with it that now it's like our kids need to have like the best haircuts yeah you know what i mean like there's some kids that look way better than i do when i was that age yeah I remember Morgan when she was like younger. I want to say like maybe five, six years ago. She did the undercut thing and shaved like a design in the side of her head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, that's cool. I guess if you want to, I don't care. It's your I hair. Think, and also, like, I'm not they even dyed it pink and purple and blue and all this shit. She's like, should I do it? I'm like, dude, it's your head. I don't give a shit. I will say the one thing that I hate about haircuts the most is not even the haircut itself. Is like going to like a random stranger just grabbing you and like t- like cutting your hair. Yeah, I don't like the the touchy part. And now because they charge so much for haircuts, they have <sighs> to like yeah. feel obligated to like wash your hair and massage you and do and... all that. I'm just like, man, ugh, no yeah. thanks. And my thing is I haven't been able to find, like, the perfect, like, barber. I used to have one, and then yeah. she's like, hey, like, I, this isn't making me enough money, so i got to, like, do something else. I have to become a teacher. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. And so, like, yeah, I had her for, like, I think two and a half years, and she was my favorite. I, I fucking miss her. Come back. Come back. I need someone to cut my hair that I actually enjoy, like, cutting my hair. Yeah. She was cool. But, yeah, like, it's just, like. My process going at the barbershop, like, what are you going to do? I was like, oh, just get your haircut. Like, oh, okay. And they, like, look at my hair, and they're like, that's a lot of hair. Yeah, right. And so, like, they, like, start going, like, what do you want? And I was like, oh, I want this, I want that. And they're like, okay, cool. And then they're like, wow, you have a lot of hair. And I'm just like, yeah, I know. Yeah. And then it just revolves, the conversation revolves around that. Yeah, my hair is so thick, dude. Like, they can't even, like, take a comb and comb my hair because a comb gets stuck, like, every single time. Yeah. It's not even because it's knotted. It's just that much hair goes through the fucking comb. So, yeah, I mean, my, yeah, so it's been a while, but I'm, I mean, yeah, that's why I wear beanies all the time because my hair is so long. Like that's when the I, wind kicks up, it like kicks in my face. That's so why I'm I wear like, a hat too. Gotta just like keep it back. I don't want to do my hair. That sounds annoying. Yeah, it's super annoying. I don't know how I don't know how people can just go to the salon and just be like, "We're gonna be here for four hours just to make this look this way." Yeah, man. I don't care that much about my hair. I don't either. I don't care about that much about myself. Yeah, same. <laughs> same. Like I don't. I want to live like a, a decent life and be able to touch my toes when I'm fifty. <laughs> I can touch my toes now. So I'll gonna, save. No, I'm for gonna, sure. I'm going to keep doing that. Dude, yeah, I did a thing, like, kind of get off topic, but just at work randomly, and apparently I was the only person at work that day that could touch their toes, and I'm like, this is fucking sad. Yeah, I, I blame Little John. Yeah. He said, bend over to the front, touch your toes, and you're like, okay. Okay, done. I blame <laughs> that I have an old man back, and I have to stretch every day so I can walk. Do you really stretch every day? Yeah, I have to, or else I literally can't walk. I'm about to see how that goes next time. Yeah. I guess we're going, we going to Telluride, so I'll just check it out then. Yeah. I'm like, teach me your stretching routine, Chris. Oh, it's nothing impressive. It's just... Uh... <laughs> what's what's the worst haircut you've ever gotten? When my dad cut my ear off. <laughs> I thought that was pretty pretty uh, obvious when I told that story. I didn't know there was anything worse than that, man. Yeah. Uh, there was one time, too, where the haircut person, like, cut my hair to, like, slick back for some reason. Yeah. And I never slick my hair back. So when I combed it, it was, like, all fucked up looking because it was all layered wrong. <laughs> and my mom was so pissed. That's amazing. I think it was, like, eight or something. It was, like, right before, like, student, some student picture thing. And she didn't go, I'm cutting your hair from here on out? No, because my mom can't cut hair for shit. Well, neither can mine, but she yeah. still did. Yeah. God bless you, mother, but... <laughs> yeah. You, it weren't, was always, you weren't great at cutting hair. I, like, literally went, like, all but I summer. I it. I went all summer without getting a haircut. Then picture day came, and then, boom, day before, haircut every <laughs> single time. <laughs> and that was time. I was just like, man, this is not what I look like. Shit. Ah, oh, dude, I actually, the, the what I mean, I know we're done talking about it, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit longer. The worst haircut I got was Yell in, me, was in Denver. I went to, like, a Floyd's and got a haircut, and she, like, fucked it up to the point where I was just like, dude, I need to go somewhere else to see if they can fix this. And so I ended up going to like this like 
like old school barbershop where like the seats haven't been changed since like they opened like in the 70s yeah, yeah. and they're just like talking shit the whole way you know like it, it, it was so cool to go in there and i was like hey um i just went to like this barber and they like really messed up my hair do you mind fixing it and i had a hat on yeah and i took off my hat and the guy's like oh they fucked it up man <laughs> and i was like yeah i know he's like nah man i got you don't worry about it and he's just, like talking shit about the haircut like the whole time it was like, awesome Ooh, god dang we need a we need a barbershop like that and really well start one <laughs> learn how to cut hair and go for it no i'm good Did you stop touching the cord you know it's broken moving on i hate you <laughs> <laughs> round two all right moving on to the next subject which is oh i already put it down oh damn it uh celebs you want to see roasted and we're what? talking like witch hunt uh, yeah, like she's at, a witch at the at the steak at the pyre per yeah. se. Um, no, I don't know. I would definitely I like to who. see a roasted I Elon who. Musk. Oh, okay. I definitely know who. Who? Uh, what the fuck's her name? Jada Pickett. Mm, I think that's the only way. Pinkett I think Smith. that's the only way that Will Smith and her can redeem themselves is by having a roast of her. Of her. Yeah. No, it's terrible. Yeah. Um, I would definitely would like to see Elon Musk roasted, Jeff Bezos roasted. I see, but I feel like if you the roasted Walmart's those Walmart's roasted. If you roasted those guys, like they wouldn't give a shit. I mean, maybe. It I also don't, I don't could think... be hilarious. I mean, yeah, maybe, but they'd just be what like What if we had Elon Musk roast Jeff Bezos? That would be sick. Or vice versa. No, nah, dude, fuck it. I just want to see a rat beef between Bezos, Musk and fucking Gates. Uh, no, fuck Gates, the Put other Warren guy. The in there. the virgin guy who also oh, is trying yeah. to go to space the oh, other space billionaire he's still a virgin yes dude his, his, his airplane is richard Br- brant richard, richard branson branson mm, i don't know something like that. richard bronson branson or bronson yeah something like that but his airline is actually pretty dope i flew on virgin airways like a handful of times and i'm like this is probably the best like airline i've been on yeah yeah they do a stupid uh safety video it's like a hip-hop video they're like <laughs> If you're looking for an exit, you know. I'm like, uh, okay. Oh, that was more of a visual joke. That was definitely more like Soul Train. Did you ever watch that movie? That was so bad and so good at the same time. Soul Plane? Yeah. Snoop Dogg's one of the pilots? Yeah, I didn't know. They put hydraulics on the plane? Yep, that's right. Okay. It was like purple. And like, yeah, uh, I vaguely remember that. Like the the last class is just like lockers. You need to put like twenty five cents in to put your carry on in it. Really <laughs> wild. I love the concept. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the billionaires would be kind of cool, but I don't know. Will Smith would be hilarious now. Yeah, Will Smith would be funny now. Uh, Putin would be fucking amazing Ooh, to see Putin, that. Uh, he might kill you though. I mean, this is what the this is what the thought process that he can't. Oh, okay. So yeah, that'd be great. The roast of. Vladimir fucking dick Putin. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, Obama would be sick to yeah, see. Yeah, I think Obama would be hilarious getting roasted. I think a roasted Donald Trump would be funny, too. He's already had one. But, like, after his presidency. That's fair. Yeah, after this is when he was a celeb and not a fucking yeah. president. Um, um, Paul he, Rudd. I would love to see Paul Rudd get roasted. Yeah. Just because I, I don't know how you would take it. I would like uh, going back on a Ryan Ryan blah, 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 blah. Uh, um, going back on a Ryan Reynolds conversation. I think a, a roast of Ryan Reynolds. Would, yeah, that is so hard to Ryan say. Ryan Reynolds, the roast of Ryan Reynolds. Ro- ro- fuck ro- the, the 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 roast, roast of Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. Wow. All right. My, yeah. my mouth is. Confused. I'm trying to find like someone that's like super random that you would just want to roast. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> yeah, actually, I can see he's talking shit about that like really well. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't know, like, I would see, like, the roast of Kevin Feige, I think. Like, he's not really a celebrity, but, like, he is. Yeah. And it's just like, yo, stop making all these Disney Plus shows suck. Do right. better. You're saying Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't canon because you had nothing to do with it, and that shit's better than fucking WandaVision. Damn. Fuck it. That's a fucking roast. Is that a roast, or is that, like, just you talking? Because, I mean, like, uh, does a roast, like, it's, it's supposed to be, like, in good nature, you're just a little just going to insult everything that person does? Yeah, I mean, both. Oh, in that case, <laughs> Mark Cuban would be kind of cool to see. Yeah, Mark Cuban would be good. Who's the worst person in the world besides uh, besides besides anyone who? Yeah, I was like, there's a, a lot country. of like, if Hitler was still alive, I think the roast of Hitler would kind of be funny. If we just actually roasted him, would it be better? <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> He's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried like like a Kevin Spacey. 
Ooh. A Bill Cosby roast, dude. Ooh. <laughs> oh, a no. Louis C.K. roast? That would be pretty good. That would actually. be kind of funny. Everyone's all uh, mad at him again because he won a Grammy. And they're like, cancel culture didn't work. For a stand-up? Yeah, he won a best comedy album of the year. Interesting. Yeah. What if that's how we just get rid of cancel culture? We just roast the fuck out of that person. Tucker Carlson. He would probably Ooh. cry. Dude, Tucker Carlson would be hilarious. And everyone who's doing has to do an impression of that dude. Yeah, Alex Jones would be funny too. I think a roast of Joe Rogan would also be pretty good. I think that would cancel everything. Yeah. Let's just roast all three of those dudes at the same time. How about the roast of Gilbert Gottfried? I mean, too soon. Oh, I thought we were assuming that, you know. <laughs> this is too soon. I'm so bad. Yeah, Still too soon. Bad. He Gilbert died like it? yesterday. Mr. Bean. <clears throat> oh yeah what's his name what's his actual name though? uh at something atkinson rowan atkinson rowan atkinson i think he would be a good sport i actually love that dude yeah he's he's really funny like he's like his physical comedy is peak like peak physical comedy the ro- <laughs> the roast of jesus <laughs> yeah if jesus came back when jesus comes back i should say and we just roast the shit out of him you know it'd be fun actually kanye would be amazing because he would take that all to heart it would be like that that south park episode with the fish the gay uh, fish oh yeah Oh, he I was so butthurt. He's so mad. It's like, <laughs> like, like sticks. Even in like the episode, it made fun of him for taking it literally. Yeah. And then in real life, he took it super literally. Dude, the roast of Kanye. That's the one that needs to happen. Yeah, that definitely needs to happen. And it's emceed by Pete Davidson. Oh my god, <laughs> Kim Kardashian be... has to roast him too. Oh, that would be so fucked. That would be so. Jay Z and Beyonce come in there too. Just like Kanye, the fuck, dude. That okay. That's that's the roast right there. We got to start pitching to people. Be like, hey, the master the master ceremonies has to be Pete Davidson. Yeah, everyone that's dated Kanye has to go out there and talk shit. <laughs> Even okay, if we did the inverse and it was Pete Davidson MC by Kanye West would be also hilarious and it had to be every everyone Pete Davidson is dated because that's a lot. Yeah, Kate Beckinsale's up there. Ariana no, dude, Grande. You, you know that they'd be complimenting him. There's oh, a reason probably. behind it, dude. That, that dude's probably like, yeah. he's got something. Because he's, let's be real, Pete Davidson's not a good looking dude. He dude, is funny. I, I actually do like him a lot. Like, but... I have a lot of people that I know that are like, dude, Pete Davidson is so hot. I'm like, really? It's like, you're just jealous. I'm like, nah, man, I literally don't understand. So you're telling me if I look like I haven't slept? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, always tired. Super pale. Yeah, I'd be attractive? Yeah, I guess, man. Why wasn't Michael Jackson that attractive then? Apparently he was. Yes, not as later years, man. Fuck, and that was time. <laughs> that was going down a bad rabbit hole. Thank goodness for the timer. Yeah, no, you always kind of do that, so it's fine. It's great. Hey, let us know what ro- what celebrities or people you like to see roasted. I still want to, so I, like I said, I still want to have a roast for my funeral. That's what I want. Well, you're getting cremated, so. Exactly. I want to get roasted and then get roasted. Yeah, you took my idea. We already talked about that. I came up with this idea. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I, did. I said it on the podcast, and then you're like, oh, that's my It's on idea. my will. It's whatever. On a napkin it's in my house. Fine. Moving on. Round three. All right, Chris, what's the next subject? Uh, best band logos of all time. Best band logos of all time. Or your favorite band logos, I also, should say. What's this cat's name? Messi. This is Ness. This is Messi. The Loch Ness Monster. This is uh, Lionel Messi. Nessie. Lionel Fionel Messi. Is purring? Oh, we haven't even started the timer, have we? Sorry, we're, we're yeah, just emptying well, with the cat. <laughs> I didn't know you were starting. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. So this next subject is uh, favorite band logos. Favorite band logos. Thanks, Kat. All right. Um, The Misfits is probably my favorite one, actually. So, yeah, let me click on the same picture. Yeah, so there's a lot of band logos that I think are cool, but they're literally just the name of the band. So, Is there any any logos that are cooler than the band? Um, I mean, 100%. <laughs> like yeah like definitely radiohead with the little bear on it is pretty neat that is pretty sick red hot um, actually has a pretty good logo too so you know how they made that logo which the red hot yeah they were literally at their first show and anthony kiedis was like oh shit we don't have a logo so he literally took a giant red marker on his white shirt and just made like the little star thing yeah yeah that's, that's cool. how they made that we need to have a logo i mean i have a logo oh skittles yeah, Super Skittles. Let's see. Aerosmith, I don't like their logo. I don't like Aerosmith in general. Rolling Stones is iconic, but... <laughs> mm. Yeah. Corn is kind of cool. 
I mean, there's like a lot of super cool logos, like the Prince logo. Actually, I will, oh, yeah, the Prince logo. Where or, he literally became his logo, I guess. His the artist symbol. For, formerly known as Prince. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of logos that I literally don't know what the fuck they are. I so. hate this band, but I love their logo. Is this one? Is that what it was? No, it was... Oh, 303? Yeah, how did they do it? Yeah, I think it's literally just this. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, 303. 303. Can't stand the music, but it's actually a dope logo. Yeah. yeah, it might be biased because, you know, it's like right here. Yeah, it's from the Denvers. I mean, there's a lot of metal logos, too, that are cool, but you have no idea what the fuck they say. Yeah. And they're just like squiggly marks everywhere. Nirvana they're has pretty a pretty good. good one, actually. I don't mind what Nirvana is. Uh, the little face guy? Or, yeah. Yeah. That one's so simple, yet it's like... I don't know. It's to the point, you know? I don't like Kiss, and I don't like their logo either, so that Yeah, their, their logo is kind of just very boring. Oh, Weezer's is pretty cool. Oh, the W thing? Yeah. With the little flags, like Wonder Woman almost? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about Weezer's. They actually... I mean, when I saw them live, they actually had that on a, <laughs> on the back of their stage, and I was like, that's fucking sick. Dude, I remember I saw Revolution, and their the logo is literally right. just like an R, and then it has like... The like Jamaican flag colors or something behind it. I don't remember. Something sky. Yeah, something very reggae ish. And I'm like, huh, you guys are like American, but this is cool. That's all right though. But yeah, see, like a lot of logos are just the name of the band. And you know which like, one I don't like is the Grateful Dead's. I've never liked that logo. Oh, the uh, the, the skull the with skull. the uh, lightning. Steely or something. Steely your mind? I don't remember what the fuck they called. It's called know. Steely, but I don't remember his actual name. Never liked it. Public Enemy's sick. I forgot about Public Enemies. Yeah. Wu Tang. Wu Tang obviously everyone like that like the logo's more iconic than the actual rap group, I feel like at this point. Yeah. I dude uh, Tell me. There was tell this, me. there was a time where for some reason, I think it was probably about a decade or so ago, mm -hmm. every like small white girl had a Wu Tang something. Yeah. Like they had a Wu Tang T shirt and I'm like, You actually like Wu Tang? I'm like, yeah, Wu Tang's sick and they're like throw out some bars i'm like okay i mean i like hip-hop but i mean like i'll you're, fucking you're all about it like fuck dude i'll fucking saw your ass cheeks type and keep feeding you and feeding you and feeding you yeah that's it's method it's weird wu-tang like wu-tang is fine but it's fucking weird i like if Wu -Tang. you get into their deep cuts they're fucking it's nerdy fucking weird they're nerdy as fuck and i love it yeah like you're rapping about fallopian tubes word come on rizza yeah Outcast has a dope ass fucking logo. If you've never seen it, have well, you seen it? Yeah, I mean this topic's kind of weird one? for people just listening. Yeah, because they don't know what I any mean, of just, these just, logos look just like. Just make sure. I guess we'll, we should put a disclosure at the beginning of this. Is put a, a Google uh, search bar and you can just look at all these things. Or if you know what they look like, I guess you know what they look like. Yeah, yeah. Dead Mouse is kind of cool. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of his music. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm the same way. And there's like a lot of like EDM artists that have like cool logos, but like it's just like, yeah, that's just to sh throw on your merch and shit. So I really liked, uh, I don't know if anyone remembers this one, but the Paul Beverage and Company logo, it looked like a like a coffee shop <laughs> logo. I like oh, that. Oh, was it one. just like the circle? Yeah, it is yeah. a Paul Beverage and Co. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty sick. I'm probably not going to be able to find that one. I could probably find it. Ah, okay. The that Pokemon, was a deep cut. Pokemon logo. That's Sleeping, not a band. Sleeping but, Sirens. Yeah. I'm just going through Google. Now you're just literally. Ew. You're just looking up shit. Now. Just, just to dislike Bon Jovi even more. I don't think that's the real logo. I've never seen that before in my entire life. Yeah. See, it's the best. It's that's why. Is that a cross? Or that's a sword that looks it's like a, a cross? Sword. Yeah. Sword through a Dude, heart with wings. I don't know. I don't know why people like Bon Jovi. That's a fantastic question, G. He he sounds like he's trying to poop every time he sings. <laughs> That's a little exaggerated, but yeah. Daft Punk, Daft Punk actually has a dope ass fucking logo. Um, I think they have a few. I feel like, well, I mean, like the the first one that they came out with, it just reminds me of like their music. Like you know, like that's that's when you know a logo is super dope when you're like, oh, I can feel the music on that logo. If that makes any sense. Definitely not for me, but okay, I'll pretend like I know what you're saying. I can see it on that one. Sure, man. Thirty seconds to Mars has a terrible logo. They also have a terrible lead singer. <laughs> Terrible actor. Terrible, terrible. Major Laser, the Who. The, okay. Yeah, the Target one's not bad. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, like the the yeah, H yeah. coming down. Run DMC NWA. That one's, that one's pretty classic. Run, yeah. Those two actually are pretty sick. Just like I don't know, it's weird because the well, some of the best logos are just like straight font. Yeah. And it's just like yeah, okay. It's not like less some is more stupid stylized shit like a lot of these. 
It's like, oh, let's just say our band's name, but stylized font. Poison has an M. Gross one. Yeah, Poison's is gross. I think ACDC's is gross. Rage Against? Um, Slipknot? Yeah. The... Slipknot definitely has one of those. Yeah. And U2 is literally just fucking the gr- Times New Roman U2. <laughs> or Aerials <laughs> or something. I don't remember. It's very, <laughs> very fucking plain. System has a cool one. If I can remember it. Blink actually has a dope one. I like Blink's. Uh, ABBA's pretty sick. Actually, ABBA's oh, with is the, with dope. The B, with the B thing? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the A, backwards B, forwards B, and then A. Yeah. It's like some Tenet shit. Right. My Chemical Romance. Ugh. Bech. Bing. Bech. Yeah. Bing. I think, like, yeah, there's a lot of, like, 90s pop punk bands that are pretty cool on their logo. Oh, that's time there, G. Is it? Yeah. I keep on want to talk about this. Oasis can suck it. Yeah. Their stupid champagne supernova. Lincoln Park. I actually used to like Lincoln Park's logo. You used to like Lincoln Park in general. And me too, yeah. No, I was t- t- saying oh, yeah, you I mean, did. Floyd is pretty good. Metallica's okay. Anyways, I guess we're, we're done with that subject. So yeah, if you have any logos that we miss that you like or disagree with any logos that we talked about, I know we might have some people who are deadheads who are like, Meh. Yeah. I know. I, just don't. I know one specifically. I know two. <laughs> oh yeah, too. Looking at you, Kirk. <laughs> yeah, I was like, looking at you guys. <laughs> Thanks for still listening. Hopefully, I, I grouped them together <laughs> as one per- as one listener because they're dope. Well, because they, Cause, li- cause they it listen, counts as one. They listen together, so it counts as one. You guys got to push play and then mute one. That way, you, we get both of the, the, <laughs> the counts. Okay, but yeah, let us know what, what logos you guys uh, maybe like or dislike, or which ones you agree with on, uh, disagree with us on us on this one. We'd love to argue about it. Moving on. Round four. <laughs> yeah nope all right next subject subject number four uh it's my subject you said the last one that i pulled out fine next subject is going to be worst partner arguments worst partner arguments you want to there you go bud uh me, Ooh, me yeah. and chris had one once yeah we i guess if you want to count us as partners we are business partners yeah so yeah <laughs> it's because uh, g doesn't listen shit no so <laughs> so the way me and chris argue is uh if we're working on a song together it's me just like no that's not cool that's not cool and then we yell at each other and then we like like our egos get out of the way and then we actually work on it it's usually me just be like fine just fucking do it and then i, and just, I like, do give it, like, it and then i do it and he's like oh yeah like that i'm like god damn it G. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually oh, we're usually on the same page <laughs> yeah. but it's always just like no dude it's not what i meant uh, we just we just describe things very differently yeah um, i describe things correctly and g describes it with beeps and boops yeah he's very music theory and i'm just like oh you're just gonna go Ka-ka-ka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's very true it's like shoo bidi bidi doo yeah you're like oh like that that scale is like no it's bidi bidi doo um okay so yeah i guess we'll talk about like relationships um taking money as well be in the past because we don't want to shit on anybody that we're with now shit i want nobody not, and shit we, on everybody yeah there you go shit and then we're we're gonna not mention names, hopefully. <laughs> there was one time I was with beep. someone who, uh, yeah, we'll just have to beep him out. There's one time I was with someone, um, and I told him I was like, "Hey, like I really want to go to Ireland," and I was like, "But I really want to go by myself." She's like, "Well, why don't you want to go with me?" I was like, "I don't. Know, I just want to take a trip by myself." Mm. She was so upset at me that I was like, "I wouldn't take her on this." I was like, "Listen, ever since I was little, I've always wanted to do this by myself. It's not that I don't want you to go. We can go again, and I would love to take you, but I just want to go the first time by myself." And she was so upset that I said that, like, you like, <laughs> like, like, what are you trying to hide? This is not, I was like, I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm just literally saying, I personally have a thing that I want to do. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. yeah. I was so annoyed about that one. That's pretty funny. Stupid. I remember I always used to get yelled at for working too long. That was pretty neat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the, probably like one of the weirdest, dumbest arguments I ever got into was at a concert. So we were going to... I don't know, a concert that she picked out. Mm -hmm. Everything was fine. It was a great concert. Had a great time. And then the next weekend, we were going to a concert that I picked out. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, well, I'm sick. I don't want to go. And we get there. And it's like, well, I'm going to sit in the car. I'm like, okay. So she went back and sat in the car for like an hour and a half Mm -hmm. and was just like blowing me up. Like, hey, can we leave? Hey, can we leave? It's like, why did you come? Yeah, dude, that was a fucking argument for sure. I think I called her a child and she got so mad. <laughs> I mean, that's my thing, though, is I think that we forget that when we're in relationships, you're still two separate people and you're yeah. going to like two separate things. And I I understand the whole idea of like sacrificing your likes to be there, but fucking be there or don't. 
Yeah, for real. You know what I mean? Like, like Jesus, like if you don't want to come, just tell me that. I'm not going to get upset about it. I might be bummed, but, you know, yeah. I'll get over it. Yeah, and like, I don't know, it's probably a good thing Ugh. that I wasn't into, like, well, I guess I've always been into baseball, but not as into baseball as I have been in the last, like, five, six years. Yeah. Because Every single person I've dated has hated sports in general. Yeah. So if I were to go to as many Rockies games as I go to now, it would be a huge thing. Because it's like, yo, I just want to go to a Rockies game. Like, you don't like Rockies. You're going to fucking <laughs> complain the whole time. It's it's that idea of, uh, <laughs> like, would you rather me go to a Rockies game because I want to go to a Rockies game? Or do you rather have me go to a Rockies game because I don't want to be around you? you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, that, yeah. And that, I mean, arguments, I, they're necessary, but I think as long as it's an honest conversation and that's the hardest thing is that when ego and pride get in the way, uh -huh. you just want to see that you're right, which I struggle with a lot with you. Yeah. You're or, right. No, wait, all no, the time. that's no, I'm, I'm trying to say this as in like, I'm at fault, not you. Yeah. No, you said it right. Okay, cool. Yeah. So like, that's the thing is like the one I, time you are right. Shut up. <laughs> I'm right at least twice a month. Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, so it's one of those things where, I mean. I've had some stupid arguments and I think it's stupid enough where I'd forget about them. But I mean, like there was one kind of speaking of, like a concert. Uh, I was dating someone. We went to go see Flog and Molly at Red Rocks. And I, I, I know Flog and Molly, like, but just like the St. Patrick shit. And yeah, like yeah. other than that, I really don't know much of it. So I was enjoying the concert, but I was just kind of like there, like not singing along, just kind of like observing because that's what I do at shows now. And she's like, are you into this? I'm like, no, I'm having a good time. I'm like, I just don't know the music, so I can't really get into it. And she got so upset that I said that. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yo, like, why are you mad at, like, I'm being honest with you. I'm not saying I'm having a terrible time. I'm just saying, like, I don't know this music. Yeah, so I don't know. Gonna... I don't know the band. So, yeah, like, uh, you were actually at this show, but um, we went to Riot Fest and there was a band that we were supposed to see, but she was just, like, not into it. So we oh, went yeah, home. So pissed and it's the that only time that they played a show in, like, the last, like, decade. Yeah. And I'm just like, fuck. That's okay. And I was like, dude, it was so good. You're like, shut up, G. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean. Was it always around concerts? And listen. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's and, weird. And I guess for me, I'm, I'm not saying that, like, any argument that I've argued in, or I'm sure you are saying that you're correct. You know, well, I know yeah, the specific ones about concerts. I was 100 percent correct. Oh, same. No, for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, we're musicians. We know what the fuck we're talking. about. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's terrible. But, <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I, I'm not one to have arguments about shit. Like, I don't know. Like, like, for example, like, I, I, I don't like doing dishes, but I like the house clean. So I'll do the dishes. But like, if the other person doesn't do it, I'm not going to be like, hey, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. You know, I might be like passive aggressive here, here and there, but I'm never going to argue about something that's super like petty like that. Yeah, man. That's what, like the best part about living by myself was everything is my fault yeah. so i can't be mad at anybody but myself and i'm just like fuck i have dishes to do okay here's my five dishes i'm done <laughs> i mean i'm not i'm not one to give any like relationship advice but i think it is important to like have communication and have discussions and when it gets to the point where you're getting angry and saying stupid shit to like just walk away for a quick second and never go to concerts together and never go to concerts together <laughs> that's yeah, the absolutely. takeaway yeah that's the takeaway Unless, uh -huh. like, it's not even, like, with just with anybody in general. If you guys aren't into the band that you're going to see, like, both equally or just both enough, it's not going to be that cool. Unless you're just like, well, I'll just go to check it out. Just don't, you know what I mean? Like, don't ruin it for the other person. Yeah. Because that's the worst is when you go with someone, you're just kind of like, this band why, sucks. Why are you here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's not even just with, like, a couple. That's, that's with, just like, friends and people, people yeah. yeah. Like, that concert we went to. And it was like the opening act was cool, but then like the other two like headliner bands were fucking trash. Yeah. And both of us are just like, this is fucking stupid. But I think it's but all... the people we were with were super into it, so we're just like, all right, yeah, let's enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, all right, I guess. Yeah, but it's also like I think kind of. It also <laughs> didn't help that the venue kind of sucked, and we were in a shitty spot, and. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And I think we've gone enough concerts together, which isn't actually many, but it's enough to know yeah, that we enough. we know how to like watch a show. And like that, like things, I love how this turned into like talking shit about relationships and just talking strictly about people at shows. It's fucking great. That was time, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but like, we know how to be like, all right, we don't want to be too close, but we want to be like, we actually want to listen to the music. So let's get center or, you know what I mean? Like, I, it, it, like we understand each other to know like what makes us comfortable. Yeah. Because ultimately we're there to watch the show and not like pester. Yeah. Or, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we went, to, we went to fucking Nickelback and had an okay time. I had a fantastic time. I was like, all right, he played Graf. Let's fucking leave. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we were also just a, like around a bunch of people that like we kind of knew, but not really because we all got the same group of tickets oh, from yeah. the same person. Have you ever, have you ever like started like funny arguing and it turned into something that was like super serious? 
uh i do that all the time because like yeah you actually are notorious for that yeah because i have such a dry like sense of humor like when i'm being sarcastic people mistake that and then they get all mad about it, about it yeah. and then i just keep fucking gaslighting them i'm just like you know what if you're gonna be fucking stupid then let's be fucking stupid together it's true yeah i deal with that all the time i hate when people ask me stupid fucking questions ah! stop touching the i was cord. scratching myself uh-huh sorry uh i hate when people ask me st- you son of a bitch that was on purpose Fuck yeah you. i know uh argument when people ask me stupid fucking questions i give them a stupid fucking answer it's true like like the other day about the rockies game someone was like oh who are the rockies playing i'm like oh they're playing the cubs and they're like what kind of cubs grizzly cubs polar bear cubs i'm like that's a stupid fucking question and that person legitimately got so mad at me it that i me. told him that it was a stupid fucking question like it's not a stupid question <laughs> like all right bud whatever you say see you later i'm leaving now and you have to you don't have to do leroy like that oops yeah. oh, oh, moving beep on it, beep it i'm leaving it in. <laughs> final round uh, the subject is man cave shit, so let's get started. Um, that was a terrible intro. Fucking do it over. That was awful. How do you reset? There you go. All right, you go. Final subject of the day. And why I don't go to concerts with G anymore. Is man cave shit. So shit you would put in your man cave, I suppose. Yeah, if you ever had one. I mean, I don't think I'd ever have a man cave. Uh, it's, yeah. It's called the living room. We definitely have a man cave, and it's going to be called the office. It's not really a man cave. It's going to be. It's gender neutral. Office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, pretty much the shit I have in my room. Like, I so if I were to do anything, if you were to have a a room that was, let's say, just for me, five hundred square feet. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess if I were to do have anything for sure, I'd have like a bunch of racks where I would hang all my hats. In a man cave? Yeah. That's weird. It's fucking it's not decoration. A room. It's not a room. Take in mind, it's not like your bedroom. That's not. That's definitely a man cave. Is a room. No, but it's not a bedroom. Like, yeah, you're not sleeping there. Yeah, what the fuck do there. I give a shit if it's a bedroom or not? I would hang up all my hats because I have, like, almost 50 hats. And man, cave already fucking sucks. Uh, okay. Keep on going. No. Let's see. All right. Uh, I'd have my record set up. I'd okay, probably get a sense. dedicated shelf. I wouldn't have a TV in my man cave. I would have a TV in my man cave. Mm, your man cave fucking sucks. Um, it would literally probably just be a record room and probably just a bunch of random, like, sports shit that I have and beer shit that I have. Mine would be, for sure, a TV. Fucking nerd. So I can watch the Nuggets in there. Pfft. Sports. And then have surround sound. It's not your bedroom. It's not my bedroom. It's just, this is the man cave. You want to fucking put a TV Why in there? Why would like... you have surround sound in, in a fucking bedroom? Because surround sound's dope. <laughs> Spatial audio in a fucking yeah, bedroom? Yeah, I had surround sound in my bedroom. That would been amazing. But it yeah, was like, fucking sick, because my room was like but just like have about somewhere, this size. Somewhere you can dedicate your videos, watching like movies watching sports and watching like disney plus shows yeah i definitely wouldn't have my man cave for that i'd have it for music and like cocktails and then have Maybe. obviously my vinyl player with like a record like shelf have a bookshelf in there that i can fill up with stuff <laughs> and not even have a bar but have a fucking globe <laughs> oh, that globe opens bar? up and yeah, it's just like sick. really nice whiskey in there that'd be sick with like I'd, super good i probably have like a counter with like a built-in like sink and like um some two drafts draft handles oh dude cask yeah well not cask That'd like actual sick. actual draft system just fucking cask just yeah. have a small brew house have a, a quarter barrel brew house quarter barrel <laughs> if it's yeah. if it's all shaped like an actual brew it's house. like five gallons <laughs> make five gallons of yeah, beer like a inside. small ass fermenter just like boop, boop, yeah. boop. what is that like uh would that be a quarter barrel five gallons no half barrel is 15 so a quarter barrel would be seven and a half yeah, well, I was rounding. I was actually doing math for once. Yeah, okay. Proud of me? No. I did it. Mom, I did it. <laughs> hey, Bob, I fucking did it. Mm. You're missing out the headroom, though. You want a little extra, so you don't overflow anything, but that's fine. Um, Yeah, for sure. That's that's true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I would definitely have more whiskey than I would beer. I'd have, like, whiskey, oh, bourbon, no. that kind of shit, and tequila. I would have, like like, those couches that's, like... Like a U-shaped couch, and in the middle, instead of having like a rest on it, mm-hmm. it would be one of those uh, those uh, those beer things that you just put like the cu- cup on top of it, and it fills from the bottom up. Uh, those things are fucking stupid. If That'd you get sick, that, though. I would never go to your house ever. 
Okay, okay. And I would make fun of you for the rest of your life. It would just be easy. Like, hey, just grab your like, all right, cool, and then just go. Those things are a piece of shit, G. Not mine. Yes, it'll be a piece of shit because all of them are a piece of Not shit. Not mine. I'll be weekly maintenance. Mm. I'm, I'm assuming I have a million dollars, so uh, you have spend a, it all on that giraffe. We would have a we asshole. would have a, a VR a VR booth over there. <laughs> okay. Like that has like the that that has like the the mobile like walking things. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like it's like a full blown like. All like right. Eighty thousand dollar VR set. Yeah, so far my man cave sounds actually reasonable. And then have a waterfall in there. Fucking water feature. Have a water feature that like has like a lake that goes like like on like above your feet. That like you has like like you can just see it through clear glass. But it's like a river that or a little like stream that runs through your fucking man cave. That would be so shitty. And a waterfall like on the corner of it. Dude, it'll just smell like Casa Bonita, bro. I don't know if you want a waterfall in your basement or wherever your man cave is no it, it's just it's just a sewage <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross ew yeah ew um, yeah. a golf simulator would be cool in there yeah that'd be kind of neat but it's gonna work on your swing I, I don't think i'd put a golf simulator i think i put like a hitting simulator for like baseball it's literally the same thing but for baseball chris has like batting cages in there and shit that'd be kind of small sick. thing see I'm, I'm thinking big man i'm just saying if this is your man cave and you you know you had like you won the lottery or yeah, you're really would, good at investing. I would literally spend like probably get like a fifteen grand sound system for my record player. That's what I would probably do. Yeah, I would definitely use that TV for like everything. It's yeah. like like it comes. I don't. I wouldn't put a TV in there because I would just have a TV in literally every other room in the house. No, that'd be the TV though. That wouldn't be the TV. Like you guys want to watch Super Bowl? I'll start fucking charging a cover fee to get in. Yeah, fuck that. It's gross. And then like, like there's an outside where you can actually like like smoke and barbecue and shit. Well, see, okay, if I were to like kind of get it, then I'd have to have some sort of like high like high capacity ventilation system so that I can like just chub chub ch- uh, chug. You're right. Puff. And I was trying to go puff. The magic puff on hand. a cigar down there. That'd be pretty sick. I haven't had a cigar in forever. Mm, I'm Jones in now. I don't really like cigars. It's because you're a fucking nerd. But this is your this is your man cave. Mm. This, this, this is your man cave. You talk shit about mm. my man cave from my first idea. Yeah, you talking don't... hats. Yeah, dude. You're hats and headphones. Small, dude. Headphones would be sick. If hats and head... headphones. If there was headphones all over your wall, they, yeah. they're all like usable. That'd be sick. Hats yeah. is kind of like just put them in your room. What would I fucking put, put them in, in your, my room? They're, put it in your walk-in closet. They're supposed to be displayed. Oh, and it would be... I have it would so ha- many limited edition collector It would have temperature-controlled... Shitting the... Uh, floors. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because why not? Have you have you ever stepped on a heated, like, tile? Yeah. It's, oh, dude, it's fucking glorious. You know what the best thing is? Waking up in the morning, putting your feetsies on some cold-ass wood floor? Mm-mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm-mm. It's like, ooh, yeah. Summer, maybe. All the time. Uh, I'd have a shower down there as well. In your man cave? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I, would, I wouldn't have a shower. I'd have one of those uh, things you have in science class where you just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> just a chemical bath? Yeah, have a chemical bath and have like an eye wash station yeah. just for no reason, just to freak them out. Like, why do you have this? Like, I'll let you know when you need to know. Yeah, when you need it, you'll need it. <laughs> it's like never, but it's yeah. still there. It's still there. It's not even plugged in. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. I saw my man cave and oh, I'm just like... That's time. Why is this here? <laughs> for that exact reason. For that exact reason. What? Yeah. Yeah, tell us your dream scenario for a man cave, because, you know, everyone has their different things. Mm. People might want a sex swing in there. I don't know. Maybe. Or a professional doobie roller. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely afford a, a sh- Let's just get, like, dude. a either, like, a WWE ring or, like, an octagon oh, and yeah. put it down there. Yeah, the, the, the things have to be that high. Yeah. Or so gonna... it'd be like literally one of one or the other. Yeah, yeah, and that's all that's in there. Yeah, that's your man cave. And one like two seat bench, like that's our <laughs> two seat bleacher thing. Oh yeah, That'd when you good. dude, no, <laughs> when you walk in, you just hear gun 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 gun, gun and like you have like your intro music and graphics. Yeah, like, <laughs> every person has their graphics Smoke when they walk machine, in. Like lights flicker, it'd be sick. That would be the fucking the Bulls intro. Dun, 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 oh, yeah, dun, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, G Astorga. <laughs> At center. Why is he at center? Because he's the tallest one here. <laughs> it's the Mexican League. I'm definitely yeah. a center. Yeah, I can see that. Well, you guys, that was the episode. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. We hope you're enjoying these. Next week, we're going to be doing a special live broadcast of Best of Five. Where? When? We don't That's... know yet, but we'll definitely post it. 
Yeah, it'll be somewhere. Probably Wednesday at 6, somewhere. Somewhere. But fuck it, we're going to try it out. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. What else do we got? Tickle the bell. Tickle the bell. And if you guys can write a review on iTunes or Spotify or even give us some stars somewhere, make sure you do that as well. Unless it's mean, then make sure it's just about G. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to complain about someone, make sure it's about me. Mm -hmm. Chris hears a lot of shit from everyone else, so he doesn't need it. (laughs) All right, y'all. Tune in Friday for DVD Extras. We're out. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Live. Bye. Oh, I thought you said bye and live and next time we Live. 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 Dun, 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 dun. Ladies and gentlemen, your Chicago Bulls. <laughs>